Live from Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning Lawland. On this hashtag Transformation Tuesday, we have a master in the house. Marcus Smith is with us. He's a highly sought after fitness trainer, nutritionist. You are like a healthy lifestyle guru. Yes. Yes, yes I am. <laughs> yeah. We need, some, no serious, Thank you so much. We need some serious tips for like uh, not that much time. How do we get it going big time? Oh, man. Uh, you, not not that much time. Okay, get up and move. Just, just stand up. Move around. I do that. Like, okay, cool. So you're already winning, <laughs> right? You're, you're in the game. Yeah. <laughs> I move all day. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, it's not that hard. I mean, I think people overcomplicate it and they, oh, what should I do? I need to go look at this. You look at this. You look at this. Just get up and move. Walk around the block. Get off of your couch. Uh, do something active. You know, is what I try to get people to do, even if it's only five, ten minutes, and then just kind of work your way up from there. You know, a lot of times we get we we over think things and we think we need to have the magic formula, it's not that hard. Just get up and move. Yeah. So tell us about the motivational calendar mm -hmm. you created. Ah, so the motivational calendar. So like, I, I wanted to put together something that helped people to, so I do a lot of online training, right? Mm -hmm. And so a lot of times people struggle with the motivation. I find that one of the reasons why people hire personal trainers, why people come to see me is just because they need the motivation, not yeah. necessarily because they don't know what to do or they don't know what to eat. Everyone knows you gotta eat your vegetables. They, people, mothers have been telling their kids yeah. that you know, since day one. Accountability. accountability, we need you for accountability. Exactly, mm -hmm. accountability and the motivation to be, account to be, to be held mm -hmm. accountable, right? And so I wanted to put together a calendar that just kind of spoke to people every day and motivated them to get up and exercise. I love so. that. So does it have pictures of you like every day? <laughs> <laughs> That's how you get motivated. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you should be. Yeah, yeah. So, so I use everything that I can. I throw the kitchen sink at people, whether I need to show my abs, yeah. Yeah. whether I need to you know, say a few curse words. I mean, I don't try to do that, but you know, whatever I need to do to tell a joke, whatever it is that I can do to get you off the couch, that's what I'm shooting for. What gets you motivated? <sighs> yeah, honestly, other than Rob Max, I don't well, know. Yeah, other than, other than <laughs> his outfits. Um, you know what, I'll be honest with you, what gets me motivated is other people. Yeah. You know, so, so when I see other people that are in shape, I go, yo, I'm tripping. Let me get back into the gym and get on, and get on my game. Um, mm -hmm. What else motivates me is just my own life, like trying to be the best, the absolute best that I can be. You know, like that's what really motivates me is at the end of the day, when I'm gone and I'm dead, I want to feel like I've done everything in my power to get to, to be the absolute best that I can be. And for me, that's my own personal goal. So that's what that's what motivates me. And then obviously, I like I look for motivation. I'm that guy. Yeah. So if someone says something about me, they says I can't they say I can't do something or I go through a breakup or whatever it is, I look for it. You know, I, I, I need it. So what set you on this journey when you chose I'm going to make this my path in my career? Yeah. You know, I ran for it. I ran from it for a long time. You know, my mother was a nurse. My brother's a nurse. I, so I have a family of like 10, okay? So I have a lot of people in my family. We're like the Black Brady Bunch. <laughs> so, so everyone is in the health and fitness. Everyone takes care of people, you know? But I was like, listen, I'm not gonna do that. I wanna be an actor, okay? I moved out to LA to be an actor. And so if you want a personal right. trainer, take, go, take, go to LA Fitness. You know? And so, and so uh, you know, I was doing a lot of acting. I was touring, I was going on tour. I was, I was on tour with Tyler Perry. I was doing a couple things and then one day I found myself broke and I was just like, oh man, I'm, yeah. I'm like, I'm in my car and uh, I was working for a gym at the time, you know, which was crazy because I was like, why am I in this gym? I wanted to get, you know, when you grow up, you don't want to be like your parents, you know, at least I didn't. Like, and my father was a fitness guy. He was a, you know, he competed. So I said, I don't want to be like my father. And so I found myself in this gym and I just hated it. And one day I just needed the money and a lady walked up to me and she said, Marcus? I said, yeah, she said, you know what? I've been watching you and I just got back from the doctor's office and the doctor says that I need to work out 18 times a day. And she wrote me a big check and I took the money. I left the gym and I never turned around. And it's the best thing. It's the best decision wow. that I've ever made. Yeah. That's yeah. incredible. Did yeah. you grow up athletic? Were you active as a, as a kid? Of course. Yeah. My whole life. My mother just wanted me to get out of the house. Yeah. And so she did anything that she could. I played baseball, basketball, <laughs> soccer. Uh, uh, you know, just get out. Just stop Don't look around in here. Well, it's a super interesting thing though. You mentioned you, you didn't want to be like your father. Yes. And then it turns out though that that was your purpose. That is your call. Absolutely. So what made you accept that so you could thrive in your purpose? It took me, it took me accepting things the way they are. And it took me really going to the bottom and saying, you know what? I prayed, you know what I'm saying? I went like to the point where like there was nowhere to go but up and I couldn't do it by myself. And so I was sitting there like, yo, 
what happened? What are we going to do? And, and then the positive, when I just started, when I just let myself go and I said, whatever's going to happen is going to happen. I don't care if it was cleaning, uh, picking up cans. I didn't care. I was like, God, whatever you give me, I'm going to take and write literally in five, 10 minutes, here wow. comes a check. Wow. wow. And it came, like my life changed like quickly in 30 days. So wow. it's like, it happened so fast. Mm. It's like, I went from not having a car right. to a car. I went from not having a place to it. And it happened wow. so fast that I knew that's what the purpose was. Even though I, even though I was still like, are you, are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> like, don't play with me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I just, that's, that's what happened. I do believe yeah. that wow. we believe that the, the universe, our higher self is always speaking to us all the time. Yeah. And that if we pray for something like prosperity and we open our eyes, it's already there. Mm -hmm. We have to just really become a listening for what's already there. I, I completely agree. And obviously you're, you know, you're built for this. You're meant yeah. for this. You're whatever. So you must touch yeah. so many lives and, yeah. For someone like me, like I just don't, it's not definitely not my calling. So I would need somebody like you to help yeah. and motivate me and do whatever. So what should we look for in a trainer? Just someone who motivates us? Is there anything more that we should look for? Well, I think I think that's I think that's a part of it. I think you want to also make sure that you get along with the person, obviously, mm -hmm. because you're gonna spend a lot of time with them. I become a counselor and like I become so right. much more than just a trainer with my clients because I'm all in the business and they tell me a lot of different things. So I think you want to definitely make sure that you get along with the person, make sure that they're qualified. Uh, and that's pretty much it. I think a personal one-on-one -on -one connection is really important when you're yeah. training with somebody because it becomes more of a life thing than it does just making sure that you show up to the gym on time because it's all connected, you know? So I think, um, yeah, make sure you like the person, make sure that, you know, you get along with them and that they get you to the gym. You know, they, you don't want someone that just takes your money and says, I don't care if you come to the gym or not. You know, <laughs> right. you want somebody, I got paid. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are in the heat of the summer. How do we stay and get bikini prep ready? Oh, Tell us about man. your boot camp. So uh, work out, exercise yeah. at least three times a week. That'll, that'll get it done. Okay. And then watch what you put into your mouth. You know, I said, this, this person told me, he said, when you look at your, when you look at your food, Dress it the way you dress yourself. So, so Mr. Prada Gucci uh -oh. uh, guy, okay. Over here, you know, <laughs> okay. his yeah. plate should look really good because that's how he dresses, right? So, if you dress your plate the way you dress, the way you'd want to dress yourself, then your plate should look really rich. It should, it should, it should sparkle. It should look slim. It should look clean. It shouldn't look sloppy, right? And so, if you look at your nutrition that way, then I think you're off to the right start. It's not rocket science. I mean, move and eat well, mm -hmm. like. It, wow. Do that consistently for a month, mm. and and you'll get some results. I love right. that though. I'm gonna dress my plate. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. She's speaking Jessen's language. She's there you go. Talking about dressing up. Yeah, so please tell everyone where they can find and follow you and work. Sure, with you. Uh, you can find me on Instagram uh, at Marcus Smith. M A R C U S S M I T H I I I. I'm the third, yep. so uh, it's gonna be three eyes at the end, uh, and then that's pretty much it. Fantastic. Oh, great Appreciate story. you. Thank you so Thank much, you so Marcus. Much. Stay tuned. We'll be back with Morning Good Morning Lawland.